Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. My name is Daniel the Paladin, and you are watching Christian Adventure Gamer. And today we're going to be doing an unboxing of Ma Montana. So this game was actually donated to my channel from Miniature Market. I want to say that we are not affiliated with Miniature Market. They actually did this to help promote my channel. So thank you very much, Miniature Market. Couldn't have done this without you. I've done this unboxing. And also the giveaway. So we have a contest going till October 1st. So all you got to do to be entered into the contest is be a subscriber to the channel, email me at christianadventuregamer at gmail.com, and in the subject line, go ahead and put Montana, and in the body of the message, go ahead and put your name and contact information, so that way if you are the winner, we can just email you, and to let you know that you are the winner, and then we can get this shipped out right away. Also, you can be a Patreon and get your uh, monthly entries added to this giveaway as well. Uh, and so, if you're looking for ways to connect with us, obviously you can do it on Patreon. You can connect with us on uh, Facebook. And we also have a Twitter account. And you, we also have a Discord, so you can connect us from that, that way. And so, without further ado, let's go ahead and crack this box open. What do you say? Alright, so this is actually a good sized box, and it's got some weight to it, so that's nice. Um, this is by White Goblin Games. Not too familiar with that company. And so. Let's go ahead and get this open. I see some meeples on it and stuff and whatnot. Looks like the designer is Rudiger Dorn. Hopefully I pronounced that right. It's a two to four player game. Plays in 45 minutes for ages 10 and up. I like the artwork on it so far. So, uh, there we go. We so got the English rules here. I wonder if I flip it over. I wonder if it's, oh, there we go. So we got other languages here. So that's nice. So I like the artwork so far in the book. The book looks like it's very straightforward. Not a whole lot of pages per instruction per language, so that's awesome. So looks like there's a lot of words, but they're descriptors, so that's good. It should be pretty easy to learn how to play this game. We have a Montana board here. So I like that. I like the artwork. Ooh, look at that. That's awesome. So we have some punch boards. Not too bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'll go ahead and put those back in there. That way the, the winner can get those and uh, punch them. So obviously somewhat double-sided. The tokens are obviously the, um, I'm guessing the terrain pieces are not. It makes me think of Catan kind of when I see these. Not gonna lie. So. Ooh, what's this? Ah, look at that. Almost looks like you need a spinner on there and you can spin it. Another, another board. Must be player boards here. Ooh, yes, so that's why the other one was yellow, so we got blue and red. Token boards. A lot of token boards. Ooh, what's this? Uh, it's like a punch board of some kind. But I feel being ready to pop out, so that's good. Double sided. I love the artwork on it. I love the artwork. Green? Ooh, yeah, green. Look at that. And then we got some more. Then we have some bags for all the tokens and stuff. That's smart. Thank you very much for that. Ooh, yep, there's the spinner. So that's what that's where you can actually spin it. And then I'm guessing you claim your prize. And then we have a bunch of tokens in here. So let's go ahead and look at the bottom. See if there's any bonuses or anything. Because sometimes I like to. And nope, no bonuses. Sometimes there's promo cards hidden under insert. So Every game you have, you should always check under the insert. So let's move these out of the way, and let's get into the meeples. All right, so I'm going to zoom into this section right here. All right, so we got uh, player meeples, looks like. We get the various colors here, plus some bison. Looks like a bison. So let's open this up, and I will show you. It looks like a bison of some sort. Cow or bison. So, right there. We got some ranchers, one for each color. Alright, then we have 
some other, looks like leaves and some other workers. So I'll take out a worker and a leaf. I mean, it looks like a leaf. But there's a worker. And then here is the leaf. Looks like a leaf. A lot of wood in this game. Alright, so then we have octagons and other pieces. Workers. So I'm not sure what this maybe this represents a rock, maybe? I don't know. I'm sure I can look in the book, it's gonna tell me. And then another worker. Brown. So, let's look in here and see what it says, because I want to know what those are called. So we have, comes with 120 goods, we've got 24 grains, so I'm guessing the leaf was a grain. And we have uh, 24 pumpkins, so we have pumpkins here. And we have 36 copper, so I'm assuming this is copper. Um, then we have 36 stone, which is the black. Okay, okay. And so there should be some big ones in there as well. Well, I, I see them. Yep, some big ones. So, that means there should be some big copper as well. Here, I see it. Yep, I see a couple of them. So, like, obviously, here's that copper versus the other copper I showed you. So, you can see the size difference. And then the worker. So, they're mining for copper. Mining for stone. Growing some pumpkins. Which, I think it's awesome to see a... A pumpkin meeple, right? Or should I say pumpkin wooden token? So here's a bunch of pumpkins for your pumpkin patch, and then you got your farmer Jeb over there trying to farm some pumpkins. So the worker you got a handful of pumpkins. Nice. So I'm actually impressed with the quality of this game so far. Um, I wish that I had the time to play it before I gave it away. Um, you know, I hate to play a game and then give it away unless that was something I planned to do. But maybe I just have to buy myself a copy of this game because I'm actually really impressed with this. So here are the rock, the stone, some workers. Let's get that away. And then let's see if we can find a big one. Is that a big one? Yep. So we got a big one versus a small one and a worker. And that's it for the game. We got tokens, we got um, terrain pieces that build up the game. We also have a spinner board, player boards, and a bunch of wooden pieces. Man, this game looks awesome. So hey, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Don't forget to enter the contest, and see you guys next time. Yeah.